Bakersfield police are still investigating the death of a homeless man at a Northwest, ba excuse me, Northwest Bakersfield McDonald's. 23 ABC's Bain Froney has the latest on the investigation. There one coffee road at McDonald's. I pay advice that subject laying down in the drive through and was struck by a vehicle. At around 10.30 p.m. on Sunday night, Bakersfield Police Dispatch received a 911 call about a man who had been hit by a car at the McDonald's drive through at the intersection of Coffee and Hageman Road. He was pronounced dead at the scene. They were able to extricate the adult male from underneath uh, the vehicle. Medical aid responded uh, and declared uh, uh, that subject deceased at the scene. According to Sergeant Robert Pear, spokesperson for the Bakersfield Police Department, the driver of the car who hit the man is cooperating with the investigation. We're told the driver did not have alcohol or drugs on them or in their system at the time of the incident. A woman who lives near the McDonald's says she visited the fast food chain earlier that night and had seen the man laying in the drive through She says she spoke with him to make sure he was okay or if he needed any help. He said, um, no, sweetheart, there's nothing you can do. I'm just upset. And so I looked, the person at the next window had my food ready. And I was like, okay. And I just, I feel so bad. Like I just left him there. And I had like a gut feeling that something bad was going to happen. But McDonald's, they told me that the manager was taking care of it. According to Sergeant Pear, about 15 minutes before the accident, 911 operators had received a call regarding a man who wouldn't leave the premises of that same McDonald's. When 23 ABC asked Sergeant Pear about this call, we were told at the time of the 911 request to the Northwest McDonald's, it was considered a low priority call due to the high amounts of calls they were receiving at that time. Shortly after, a 911 call was made that a man had been hit in the drive through Officers were dispatched at uh, 1026 p.m. and they arrived once they got the information about an accident within two minutes. Uh, now, whether that's even the same subject uh, that uh, was refusing to leave earlier, I don't have that information yet. 23 ABC also reached out to McDonald's PR team for a statement. They said the safety of our crew and guests is our top priority. We are saddened by the tragic event that took place in our drive through and will continue to work with local enforcement as they investigate this matter. Our thoughts are with the victim's family at this time.